You want to turn this into this? Watch this. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. Okay, I'm going to talk on my mouth full, okay? Hold on. I listened to a podcast called Earth Eats. It's from Indiana Public Radio. Annie Corrigan runs it. It's really great. You don't have to live in Indiana to enjoy it. And they were talking about zucchini, which we all have too much of here. And one of their editors, Barbara Brocher, who also has a website called thebroadcastingbaker.com, has a recipe for a chocolate zucchini cake. And I was like, two flavors that I love together. And I was in the car and I actually remembered, let's try and make this recipe. So um, I made it once and actually tried to film the making of it and I totally screwed it up. So this is our second time here, but that's even better because now I learned a bunch of stuff um, to make it even better. All right, so a couple of caveats here. I'm going to put coconut in. You don't have to put the coconut in, but I thought this might be interesting with coconut. But it's really easy peasy. A couple of fun ingredients. First off, a 13 by 9 pan. You can butter it, oil it, whatever you want. I like spray, and uh, the spray works well for me. And um, boom, you're done. 350 degree oven, warm it up while you're doing this, and then one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Uh, hold on, I forgot the cocoa. A quarter cup, well, that's kind of a healthy quarter cup. Let's dial it back. Quarter cup of cocoa. Barber's recipe calls for a cup and a half of, of a coconut sugar or brown sugar. And I have some turbinado sugar, so, or a raw sugar. So that's what I'm gonna throw in here. Um, you know, kind of life's a big experiment. Ooh, that's a little too much sugar. Um, so let's see what happens, you know. Two tea, two, sorry, two teaspoons baking soda, like that. And then a teaspoon of salt. This is that Himalayan pink salt. Don't freak out. It's just, it's salt. Works. Take your special tool called a fork or a whisk or whatever makes you happy. You know, that's what we're... It's kind of the simple things in life here. Fork makes me happy. It's my multi-tool, you know? All right, because you want to get the baking soda and the salt mixed together within your dry ingredients here, because that's kind of a, a key to a quick cake like this, you know? And that's a beautiful thing. So this is your kind of dry ingredient, wet ingredient classic. Um, with a little bit of a twist, we're gonna cut some things in after it's all mixed together. So pay a little more attention. I know that's difficult for me. But we have three eggs that are, cut. you don't want it to be like super scrambled, lightly beaten, works just fine. Okay, in here. I've got two cups of grated zucchini. You'd be surprised how little zucchini you use up with just grating two cups of it. Um, this was one, medium zucchini, to tell you the truth. Two teaspoons of vanilla. One cup of unsweetened applesauce. I thought that was kind of cool. And we're gonna hold out the other ingredient, which is chocolate chips. And the coconut, okay? We're gonna take our dry, and we're gonna fold in the wet. Right? Is that how the world works? I, I don't know, my world is pretty simple. So, and I'm all about simple, which is why I like this cake. Okay. Our oven is preheating. You've already greased your 13 by nine pan. This goes together. So whenever I'm baking like this, I'm always thinking, what did I forget? So I always found, I actually write out the stuff, um, and that works for me. Oh, and the oven's preheated. A wonderful thing, especially in the middle of the heat of the summer to heat up your kitchen. But all for garden fork and zucchini cake, chocolate chips, and then our extra ingredient that I'm gonna put in is the coconut. So after this is mixed together, I'm gonna throw in the chips and throw in the coconut. Uh, sweetened or unsweetened, that's up to you. I had sweetened, so that's what's going in here, okay? So that's pretty well mixed. I add in a half a cup of the chocolate, dark chocolate morsels 
in there, okay? I love coconut, so you can put this in or don't put this in. If I could just get it out of the bag, I'd be happy. Um, should I put in, that's a half a cup. Should I put in more? I don't know, let's put in a little more. Three quarters of a cup, see what happens, okay? Life's a big experiment. All right, mix this all together. This is a little thick. Um, I'm thinking that I and add all the ingredients. I think I did. So we'll just mix this together. I think this looks good. Um, I don't know, I'm a big fan of coconut, but again, you know, use what you got and what makes you happy. So make every day as good as you can. And if you can make chocolate cake, it's a pretty good day, you know. Obviously, the fork is not a good tool for this part. Um, I need one of those wider spatula thingies, but my sister bought me this. Um, maybe she could send me another one. Big hint, sister. All right, let's go in the oven. All right, 30 to 40 minutes. While we're doing that, um, you know, I mentioned podcasts before. Garden Fork has a podcast too, I host. It's called Garden Fork Radio. I'll link to it below the video here in the text below the video and go check that out. It's me and my friends talking about more interesting garden forky stuff. So maybe I'll check that out. In the meantime, this will bake. Let's go watch the Labradors. Okay, that's burning my hand. Nice, huh? Let's try this out. It's still, I mean, it's a little warm, but I think it's time, snack time. I've been eating a lot of chocolate cake lately because um, I've made this a couple times here. But what's not to like about chocolate and zucchini? Ooh, look, it flips out nice. It's like I know what I'm doing here. All right, I'm going to talk about my mouthful. There's more videos right here if you want to watch more Garden Fork. I'll put information about the recipe below. The coconut is a definite plus. And that rose pretty well. The batter was a little thick, I thought, but... And zucchini adds moisture. The applesauce adds moisture. The coconut, I love. The chocolate chips have melted. Let me know your thoughts. I learned from you. Have you made this or something like it? Comments below, all right?